the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brains and bodies out into the real world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about relationships and using our breath. So this is a big one for most of us, and we can get really wound up in our day-to-day -day life having different encounters and disruptions and arguments with, can be with ourselves, but, but a lot of times uh, we get really agitated by the people around us and especially the people that we love the most. Um, and also in those relationships, you know, our, the antagonists in our life can really pull on us and unravel us. So that when we start to realize that, um, that is a time to start to use our breath to calm ourselves and also using different mantras to help us to come back into balance. Now, the, the mantra that I'm going to introduce you to, a lot of you may know some form of this. <clears throat> it's a, a Buddhist um, meditation technique. And I find this really, really helpful. So first, you start with yourself, giving yourself appreciation and the hope and the, the encouragement that you're happy, you're healthy, you're safe, and you're free. And you can imagine, just picture yourself, imagine yourself surrounded by white light. And being conscious of your breath, you keep going and repeating this to yourself through the same mantra. And then you go to someone that's really easy for, for you to love. And it can be an animal. It doesn't have to be a person. Something or someone that's really easy to love. I always go to my daughters. Again, you do the same mantra. And then you start to make it a little bit more difficult. Maybe someone you hardly know and that you're sending them this message of peace. And then when you get really good, you go to those antagonists in your life, those people that are a little bit harder to love, and you do this. And notice, through the consistency of doing this practice, and again, it doesn't have to be a formal practice. You could do this driving in the car, standing in line. You could do it sitting up at home if you have the space, or just lying down. But notice, in the consistency of this, this day-to-day -day practice, or a few days every week, things start to shift. Things start to get lighter and easier. Thanks for joining us. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site.